For me personally, uh, the seven big issues, if I can remember them all, is the economy is the first one, um, tied in with the superannuation. Um, without, without a solid economy, uh, and that's one of my complaints about Labor, but without a solid economy, really everything stems off that. That's the hub of the spoke. Uh, and then not necessarily particularly in order of funding or importance, but I'd go secondly uh, would be health. That's a huge one for me. I lived in Timor for six months, um, and you see what happens when, when there is no money uh, for government. Mm -hmm. um, and they had a hospital system when I was working in Timor to service 40,000 people, one doctor. Basically, they had a very effective system. It was get sick and die. So, you know, to see that and then come back here, you got, you got to understand how important that is for me for, to see that health is health is effective and universal health health care is applied a basic standard of universal health care. Mm -hmm. uh, third issue for me, big one, is uh, roads and highways. Basically, because I've seen the carnage on the road and it's not very pretty, and a lot of families go out for a holiday and don't come back. So, I want to see a much more improved road structure. Uh, and I'm talking about duplication of roads, but not 10 kilometres at a time. Start at one end and work towards the other. You know, I believe that could be done a lot cheaper um, using the same corridor, the existing corridors, rather than trying to build new lines. Uh, point four, we're up to uh, uh, tourism, I'd say they're a huge one for this place. As I said, I was at Port Douglas today, um, and you've got, you've got huge tourism infrastructure here, and it needs full support, and it needs, it's integral with the airport. Um, and so that whole that whole unit comes together. Mm -hmm. Fifth is jobs, which uh, really is a, a function of employment. Um, uh, uh, sorry, jobs is a function of investment, uh, whether it be government or private sector. And, and there's different things you can do that. Obviously, you'd have to be elected before you could uh, further that. Um, six would be, I'm a big one on defence, and I'd like to see, uh, as an ex-serviceman, I'd like to see um, uh, defence spending, more more of the defence budget spent in Australia, um, because you could see if we build our own material, uh, e.g. ships and aircraft and tanks, obviously that creates a massive amount of jobs. You're talking about basically a full infrastructure of employment base there, and that money has to be spent. We bought six, six F-18 Rhinos from the United States for $6 billion. That works out at roughly $250 million an aircraft. Mm. Um, what did I say? 25 aircraft. Yeah, 25 aircraft, $6 billion, somewhere around $250 million an aircraft. Even the JSF, the new Joint Strike Fighter, is only going to cost $110 million. Why do we pay double that, more than double that, for those rhinos? Um, and why not build them in Australia? You know, design and build in Australia that way. And of course, the last one is education. You know, that's a biggie. And um, uh, we've got basically education is well catered for. I think teachers are under an enormous amount of stress. My wife works in a primary school and, and, and conveys to me that the stress is involved in those issues and everybody, everybody in the community always, even if they've tied up with other issues, always mentions education. So, um, you know, I, I, there's certain things I'd like to look at there to assist the, the people. Again, not so much a function of not enough people, but perhaps not enough resources in education.